back to Elizabeth Plants. I'm Elizabeth. I was just preparing for a trip and it occurred to me that maybe my prepa my preparation process for my plants would interest you guys. So I'm just going to film this super low key. I've already done most of it and kind of explained to you what I do and then I'll let you know how I handle my plants when I get back when I do get back. Um, yeah, I've done most of the work, so I'm just going to kind of explain. So essentially what I do is I water all of my plants the day before I go. So I am leaving tomorrow morning. I spent all of today morning um, just watering almost everything so far. Now I went through and I bottom watered a bunch of plants that are bottom watered yesterday um, because that takes a lot longer um, so I bottom watered anything that needed to be bottom watered two days ago or I guess two days from takeoff and then today I went through and watered everything so unless it was already soaking wet I watered it and to kind of add to that I didn't water it with fertilizer I watered with straight up water and hydrogen peroxide now, I haven't used hydrogen peroxide on my plants in a while, so that is why I used hydrogen peroxide. I don't always do that. Um, however, I did want to make sure to do my best to combat bugs while I'm away. My cat and bearded dragon sitter is not in charge of my plants. Um, she is familiar with plants, and I told her if she's concerned about one to send me pictures and um, I can talk her through it, but I'm not expecting her to need to do that. So yeah. That's kind of the general overview of it. So I'm just going to walk around and kind of show you some of the things I did and talk, talk through it. So pretty much anything that needed to be bottom watered was in my greenhouse. So I went through and did that, like I said. Um, the only thing I have left to do is the onions from the repotting. Um, they have not been watered yet, but I want to do them very last. Um, Everything else was pretty much top watered today. Everything in the office was top watered. None of my cacti are getting water. They were watered maybe a week ago, so they don't really need it. I know you can't really see that super well, but none of those are getting watered. I watered uh, this guy and this guy, but nothing else in the window gets water. Um, any of my large plants got a full watering and these little guys got bottom watered. This guy is not usually in the office, but he is in here because of the cats. Um, and then one other thing to note is hanging plants. So I've got all of these guys in the window. Got a couple of, um, yeah, see I've got that guy. And then this guy right here, as well as these two. And then I've got two hanging plants in the living room and two hanging plants in the bedroom. I took all of those down and watered them over the sink so that they got a full watering. I happen to know one is very root bound and needs to be repotted. I wish I had time to repot that before I go, but I don't and I think it'll be okay for a week. Um, it's a skindapsis and it's I usually water it once a week, maybe once every week and a half. So I think it'll be okay. And so everything is thoroughly watered that needs to be thoroughly watered. If it was already wet, I just kind of topped it off a little bit with some high uh, hydrogen peroxide. So it was like 75% hydrogen peroxide, 25% water, but only for the plants that were already watered. Um, the rest, it was more 50-50, give or take. Yeah, so it's kind of my before process. Any plants that were really dirty went in the tub and got a rinse down as well. And... I pretty much only have the onions left to do and I've got my giant philodendron salome that will need a couple more uh, water. It takes a couple buckets to water that guy and I've only given him one so far and he'll be fine. So I'm not super concerned about it. If I get to it, I get to it. Um, and then yeah, let's talk about my vegetables. Because my greenhouse lights are not on a timer, I will not be turning on the greenhouse lights when I leave and they will just be getting natural sunlight from my giant window. However, these guys require a little bit more light than the greenhouse not being on would provide. So I will be putting them 
over here in the windowsill or closer to the windowsill. I think they'll fall out of the actual windowsill, but I'll be putting them closer to it. Um, I went through and I picked up all of the trays, double checked the water content underneath, picked out any dead things. I sprayed them completely down with neem and fungicide um, uh, solutions. Those will be linked in the description so you know exactly what I used. And then I, they didn't need to be watered because they're in self-watering. So I just did a high hydrogen peroxide solution over top, but so that the solution did not drain into the tubs. It instead drained into my bathtub. Um, that was just to aerate the roots and kind of help with any bugs that may decide to rear their ugly heads while I am gone. Um, but this is kind of that. I was hoping, I ordered a bunch of self-watering and I was hoping to be able to have time to repot a couple of things into self-watering um, while I was gone, but I haven't had time to do that. So that's kind of where I am with these guys. I'm just hoping they'll be good. I believe um, I only lost one plant so far in the self-watering process. It's only been about a week since I filmed that video though. So fingers crossed, none of the mint has grown. However, I don't know if you can see it. We do have some of the dandelion growing, but none of the mint and I actually lost one of the plants that were tangled together. So when I get back, I'll pot up some seeds of those if I have them. And then this guy's not doing too hot, but it's not the end of the world. I've got more in here somewhere. So yeah, that is kind of my before process. I don't do anything right before a trip, like repot a plant or um, like switch it to luck. I don't do anything like that before a trip um, because I can't be there to monitor it, especially a longer trip like a week. Maybe if I was only gone two days. Um, but I'm going to be gone about a week. So I'm not doing anything rash. I'm doing everything exactly how I normally would, except I'm doing it all at once when I would usually spread it out throughout the week. Um, what I will also be doing is today I will be refilling all of my humidifiers in the morning and then I will be topping them off at night before I go to bed and then hopefully they will last through that week. Um, my cat sitter is aware of how to refill them if she notices it getting really dry in the house. Um, as, well, she knows how to refill the top filler ones. I didn't tell her to bother with the other ones because they're just more annoying. Um, and I've got top filler ones where it matters. Um, if you're interested in my humidifier, I did a video talking about them. Um, so I'll link that below or you can find it on my channel. But yeah, so that is my travel plant process. And then I'll also film how I handle my plants when I get back and include that right after this clip. See you in a week. So we came home to this mess. I took all of the wooden dowels out and untied the plant. It looks like the cats used this for a litter box while we were gone. Um, I don't see any immediate damage to the leaves or anything. This guy had been knocked against the wall, like wedged right there. Um, I watered this guy because of how bad he looked. I'm gonna take this guy into the shower, rinse him through thoroughly, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll make him a moss pole since it'll be like the perfect time. Then if I come over here, everything looks pretty okay. I'll have to check for watering, um, but nothing looks immediately damaged. This guy looks pretty good. No new damage here, if you can even see that. This guy needs some water. A lot of them just need water. Apparently this, these two fell over while I was gone. Yeah, so there's some, there's some damage that I can, I can bring back. Um, that's just out here. Go into the bedroom. The bed's not made yet. Um, we got home at like 4 a.m. So we got home at 4 a.m. My curtain's still down, I haven't opened it yet. Um, but this guy was as close to the edge as possible. Um, but it actually looks like he's growing in our absence. Right there. Um, there's a bunch of little ones in there. If you can even see that. Are you mad we left you? Hey. Are you mad at us? What about you? Raja, are you mad? No.
Are you mid? A little bit. These guys look okay. This guy might need a watering. Um, he was pretty dry before we left. Yeah, there's no root on that. Oh. Yeah, there's no root on that. We're just gonna toss that. We've got this new leaf that came out in my absence. This guy will need water. These guys are actually probably fine. All right, and then we come into the office. Nothing out of the ordinary. These guys look really dry. They need to be repotted anyways. The herbs, I pulled off a couple of leaves that looked like they had like a white powdery coating. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Definitely need to investigate. My aloes are desperately in need of water. Nothing stands out at the moment. Hey, don't eat the cactus. If I just kind of peek into the greenhouse, um, everything looks good. Probably in need of water. Um, nothing looks like it's in danger. At least no more so than it did before I left. Everybody over here looks okay. Again, nobody seems to be in immediate danger. Back here we've got some drooping and a lost leaf, but that was on its way out before I left. We've got new leaves popping up back here. That's cool. And this guy's a little droopy. It looks like maybe some... Yeah, that one's infested a little bit with something. We're gonna have to treat everybody. Got these guys. He's just going to town. Look at this guy. Got another new leaf right here. This guy looks like he needs some water, maybe. Maybe that's just an old leaf. We got a droopy pink princess. That'll need some water. Those guys are crispy up there. A little bit of crispin' up there. We've got a trash panda over there. I'm not showing you my desk on purpose. I've got some surprises on there that I haven't filmed yet. This guy needs some water. He's curling. Hey Simba, get out of the trash. Everything up here actually looks really good. I know it's kind of backlit, but it all looks pretty good. So what I just did, ignore the vacuuming in the background, is I rinsed this guy thoroughly, very, very thoroughly. As you can see, there's yellow water coming out. I'm going to have to continue rinsing. But I did find a turd in there, so that's fun news. So I added a layer of soil, perlite, worm castings, and charcoal. I'm going to add a little bit of cactus soil on top. Hey! Um, and then some leka. And that's my plan is to see if that works. All right, so I started putting LECA on top and just rinsing as I go because I'm not using it to actual, like as a potting medium, just as a topper. Um, but I decided it would be easier to make a moss pole now if I was going to make a moss pole for this plant. So stay tuned for that video. It'll probably come out after this one. Um, but I'm about to go make this guy a moss pole or two. Like I said, I made a nice moss pole for it. If you want to see how I made this moss pole, um, a video will be coming out shortly, so keep an eye on that. I just filmed it. So I filled the bottom with LECA, as you may have seen if I included the chaotic clip of me filling it um, and the cats. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna hope that this works for the cat since he kind of ruined the cage system. So that is kind of just what I do if I travel for a weekend or longer with my plants. Um, I haven't traveled more than a week, so I can't testify to what I would do if I traveled for more than a week with all these plants. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rest for a little bit because anything that was immediate was taken care of by now. And then I am going to go through water everything very thoroughly. Um, no fertilizer. I will do fertilizer in the next watering just to be safe. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just go back to my normal 
routine. If you're interested in what my usual routine is, then feel free to comment down below that you're interested in. Maybe I will do it at some point soon. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below where is your dream place to travel? What is your dream like vacation or trip? Um, subscribe if you want to see more planty content and I will see you next time.